Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. This is lesson number five from the free intro to Manful Yoga. I'm going to show you a short clip here, but if you want to see the full thing, you can get that for free at manflowyoga.com slash intro. To sign up, all I need is your name and your email address. There's no credit card required, and it's totally free. Hope you enjoy this clip, and I hope to see you on the intro. All right, so let's get into this. We have three exercises today. We're going to be focusing on a strap behind the back stretch. We're going to be doing a standing side stretch, and we're also going to be doing a down dog, as well as different variations depending on your skill level. So let's jump into it. This is the advanced portion of shoulders. Let's get to it. So I've got three exercises for you. The first one is going to be strap behind the back stretch. So for the advanced version, we are going to start in a wide-legged position. I'm going to show you one variation and then an advanced, advanced position for you to work on. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have the right strap position. So we're going to hold the strap about hip width distant with your palms facing your body and your shoulders pulling back. So the big issue here that I see a lot is the shoulders don't pull back. We have the shoulders rounded forward. So again, we want to make sure that the shoulders are pulling back and I just want you to be able to see all of this. So the shoulders pull back, the elbows squeeze toward one another, so they're not out here like this. In fact, if I didn't even have the strap there, I'd be working like this to get into the good position. The strap is just a little little tool, a little, little thing to help us get into that. So elbow squeeze toward one another, the chest is big and open, the shoulders pull back, and then from here I'm going to reach my hands down and think of pulling my chest up and through my arms. So I'm getting a big stretch through my chest now, through the muscles surrounding my collarbone. And now to add the advanced variation to this, I'm gonna get my feet wide, like so. Push into the outer edges of my feet, tighten my thighs, squeezing my hips toward one another, and then I'm gonna swan dive forward. So pushing or pulling my chest forward, pressing the strap away from my, away from my head, away from my shoulders, keep pulling the chest forward, and then keep squeezing the strap away from your back. If this is getting easy, you can pull the strap a little bit closer together, like so. But just make sure that you have the just make sure that you have the shoulders back, that you have um, the shoulders aren't rounded forward. And I'm continually pushing my shoulders back and squeezing my arms higher. My biceps face down, my elbows face back. So this is the advanced variation number one. Now number two, if that feels like, if you feel like you can go deeper, we're gonna do this with no strap. So this for me takes a lot of warm up, but here we go. So again, I'm gonna interlace my fingers now instead, squeezing my elbows toward one another, and then pressing my hands down, and then from here, getting back into that same position, pressing the palms of the hands together. So notice that my hands are not like this, I want to get the heels of my palms together, so really pushing together, holding there, 